Yeah, Shalom, Shalom, brothers. Give all honor and glory and praise to the Mosai, the Omnipotent, Yahweh, where Yahweh Shai. Give all glory unto him. So, get up, walk six miles this morning. So now it's breakfast. I don't have it like this all the time, but most times. Most time I'll come back, I'll eat pineapple. But the pineapple run out. Um, so what? Orange. This is some coconut water. And the Asian mug, you call this mug, Jamaican style. Mm -hmm. But I also remember the days are full. So even if you keep the water in the cup like this, room temperature, it's still cold. So this is coconut water. Here I have some papaya. See the seeds? So all the papaya here I've seen. So you know man don't succeed, right? So you get the seed off. And then you have some banana. So I have the fart because <laughs> it's a Jamaican philosophy. No man should just put an entire banana to his mouth. So as a man, you cut a banana. You understand me? See some people, some Jake just put the whole banana in their mouth. Like, no. We cut our banana. Benjamin style. And we have an orange. So this is how we try to just heat and make the body penetrate. So by in the evening now, what we'll do, we'll um, eat some protein. You understand me? Because we have to push healthy living, healthy eating, healthy lifestyle, healthy everything. Because so much going against us where 90% of our people don't even know about the genetically modified organism, which is GMO, which like cabbage, um, cauliflower, um, broccoli, carrot, beetroot, um, some banana, some papaya, American apple, tomatoes. All, majority of these things, the white man made them out right now to be genetical organism. Even certain countries, they start the genetical modified coconuts. So you just have to watch because when they get these stuff now, what they do, they kill all the cells in your body, little by little. They work to break down the cells. Because just like back then in the days, as what Alda Banyamian normally said, when you eat, food supposed to energize you. But now we eat, you just go to sleep, you become obese, you become drowsy, you become lazy. So you eat, you give your body a rest by just eating fruits that just absorb right down in your body. You give all your organs and even certain days I used to go like once day, one day a week. This was from I was back in Babylon. One day a week, I'll just um, eat fruits for the entire day, man. And you will just see everybody feel. So even now, my brother Kartazala, not doing so well at the moment, but with Yahweh, we able. Um, we start to research things. And even now, we start to get some medicine that build back cells in your body. So I started yesterday. You understand me? I started yesterday. And um, I even see it work already because I took it four times yesterday. And even the color of my urine changed dramatically, man. You understand me? Because what it do is start to push the mucus out of your body. And then it build back your cell. So when I reach my age, as my aunt used to say, if I eat more salt than her, her soul rest in peace, she died earlier this year. Right? So when you do stuff like that now, you just get to understand that healthy eating healthy living, everything is best for you in Yahavashai. Yeah, so, there goes your breakfast. So you eat once a day, man. So you make your body and everything penetrate and that. But <clears throat> what I want to try to do is eat the protein in the morning. I look up some herbalists, they suggest you eat a big meal in the morning. And then like in the evening now, you can eat fruits. Then your body will relax better. So, mm. sorry. Yeah, when you eat this stuff like your burp, you understand me? Just like when a baby born and you give that baby the breast milk, then you, um, what they call it? You rub the baby back, the baby burp. You understand me? So when you eat fruits and everything, man, your entire system just clear. You clean. So, um, yeah, for the future, what I want to go into now is in terms of 
I want to go over and um, eat uh, um, the protein in the morning, like some sweet potato, some pumpkin, and maybe some greens, some chicken, fish, lamb, characters all I say I must stop eat steak. Um, so yeah, and then in the evening now, like four or five o'clock, three, four, four, five o'clock now I eat some um, fruits like this, which is better for you. But now I'm doing the opposite, which, um, because everything, not, everything not going to happen, every one right away. So you have to just train your body. So I'm going to transform to that most I will sooner than later in terms of I heat the um, protein in the morning and then I eat the fruits in the evening. Watermelon is good too. Um, most I will. Tomorrow morning I might have some melon. Um, remember when I went to Israel, <laughs> um, Amadiel said to me, um, we all in America, we eat melon by the slice. In Israel, they eat a whole melon or half a melon. So I adapt that since I start to work and my diet in terms of brothers and sisters who know me. I was once 357. Now I'm in the two forties. All praises to the most high. Okay, if it wasn't for him, um, it would have not been that way. Um, brothers was out there speculating that I did surgery. I don't have money to do surgery and I'm 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 scared of doctor if you all don't know. Nobody ain't putting me to sleep, cut no fat, cut no fat out of me or anything like that. Some was suggesting that I'm sick. Uh, maybe I'm sick, you understand me? I'm sick of this world. But I'm still around. A year after, all those speculations came out. But it was just exercising and changing my diet. I give alcohol a break, but um, visit my brothers I'm in Babylon, also David, we, we drink a couple beer. I come and work it off back. Just celebrate tabernacle. My brothers I'm from Babylon come, drink a couple more liquor. Now I put pause until I see them again. Just like Kamashiach like Yahushai said, you will not drink the wine until he met us in the kingdom of God. So everything is in balance. You understand me? We're not, only thing we're addicted to is the most, Simon. We're not addicted to alcohol. We're not addicted to money. We're not addicted to sin, wickedness. We're not, we don't even addicted to women, man. You understand me? Because if a woman comes, she don't want to comply and she move on, guess what? We find the next woman, but I guarantee you that woman will never find a man like Matatu or our next Israelite brother, so to speak. So the only thing we're addicted to is the Mosai and then our body is a temple now. So the Mosai say our body is a temple. What we have to do, we have to look after that temple, man. So what you put in that temple is very important. So we're supposed to drink at least a gallon of water per day. The book tells you in the book of Ezekiel. Or we should drink water because our body made up of what 95 percent of water the white man said so like water-based fruit like the papaya the watermelon um cucumber you do stuff water-based you eat a lot of those you drink a lot of those put back give the body replenishing okay if the body is dehydrated they're not going to tell you right away but it start to destroy the cells in your body man that's why you have our people obese or people diabetic blood clot and all these stuff so we have to know our food as i just post um <clears throat> october 5th my grandfather reached 100 he still have his goat he still go to bush with his goat every day man feed his goat come out he still sell his goat you understand me that's that's his living he's still active he's still bad you know certain people in reach age start to smell that old smell and my grandfather still bath every day, man. No sickness he still see. You understand me? He still make his tea every morning. He have his different herbs. And guess what? I see those herbs in Ghana, but they have different names. But um, I see them here. So you make those tea and everything. That's what he do, man. So we just want to give the Mosai thanks for life and understanding, man. And thanks for the love that the Mosai bestow upon us where... He can give us grace where we understand certain things. So even my brothers and sisters are watching these videos in um, the African continent. We know we cannot eat no snails, man. Or maybe I'll call it different name, but snail is a goddamn snail, man. We can't eat no bush meat. We can't eat no pork. You understand? We can't eat no shrimp. We cannot eat no squid, octopus, no crab. 
none of those and clean food, man. We eat food based upon read Leviticus 11 chapter. And I'll repeat it again. Leviticus 11 chapter tell us how to eat, man, and how to survive. You understand me? Because when we eat these things, it breaks down our body. Because um, I have three children. I'll praise this to the most high. I hope to have three more or maybe more. You understand me? But I'm getting old, so I have three. And I remember when the mothers have two child mother. I'll praise this to the most high for that also. And I remember when both of them pregnant, man, they go to the doctor. The doctor tell them not to eat no catfish, no lobster, no shrimp, no octopus, because he have too much mercury, and the mercury will damage the pregnancy. Uh, I don't know if doctor still telling pregnant woman that, but if he have too much mercury for the pregnant woman, then you have too much mercury for you, so to speak, man. So that's why we have to just limit what we eat. And one thing I learned from everybody, man, you understand me? Oh, it's a, um, my grandmother in Jamaica used to call that news bug. So he said, the brown one used to carry good news and the black one bad news. That's how we grew up, superstitious. So this was a brown one, so I pray care good news. And um, yeah, so what we said is, too much mercury destroy your cells in your body, man. So that's why even now, alcohol destroy your cells in your body. I learned from everybody, man. And I went out to visit brothers in Israel in the Mona, and um, they have this thing where one week, no sugar. So whatever they eat for this week is just juice. And then next week, whatever they eat is just water. No juice that week. And then it's vice versa with salt. One week salt, the other week juice. For brother who come and visit me, man, you know there's no juice in my fridge, man. If it's not coconut water, it's natural water, man. I, I, I put a fire on juice, man. Soda is abominable, man. I remember when soda came out in the 90s in Jamaica, man. <laughs> Before that, we used to make soda sap juice. We used to make um, carrot and beet root. We used to make mango juice. We used to have juice, but when soda come, all that become um, none, none in effect. You understand me? So I, we never have no blender. So what we used to do, we used to grater the beetroot. My aunt used to grater the beetroot and the carrot, man, and juice it. And um, we, the banana, we used to take like an oil buckle, a coconut oil buckle, and beat the banana, beat it out soft, and make juice. You understand me? So I remember those days. I'll praise this to the most, Simon. And um, I'm passing it down onto my children, but my daughter gravitate to things more. Like my daughter will drink from a cup. You see? In a milk cup, my daughter will drink from it. My son, especially the one named Elijah, the big one, he going to say, Daddy, we have glass. He'll say, Daddy, we're not, we're not in the old days, Daddy. You understand me? But I love him still, but he'll get it one day, so. It's a legacy we have to bring on to our children, man. And um, just keep strong, man. You understand? You see, that's a normal house. That's my neighbor. You have a coconut tree there. Here is full in the yard. You have banana, cane, coconut. You understand me? All surrounded by fruit trees. So even with that, we just give God thanks, man. You understand me? And where we can teach and we can hold our tradition. That's like you read the Bible and the Timbuktu, page 91. He said, wherever the Hebrews go, they carry their laws, their tradition. You understand me? They heritage with them. Just like in Jamaica, man, they tell you, the slave would never eat unless they wash their hand, man. When I read the Bible in Mark 7, the, see the Israelite went up to Yahushua and said, listen, boss, you eat and don't wash your hand, man. You understand me? So we, have, we still wash our hand when we eat. You understand me? We, we going to go back how we used to eat, man, like... Life, brothers, especially the ones who are in the truth, man. Life is more important, man. Because we, the, the life is important because if it's the will of the most, I want to see the destruction of my enemy, man. If it's the will of the most, I want to see America, all the European nation, China, I want to see it go up in flame, man. You understand me? If it's the will of the most, I, I want to see Yahweh, the black messiah, Yahweh shall I come as a conquering lion, man, and put the white man into destruction man just like what Moses did to Egypt man so we just have to do something in terms of um, we have to take care of our body and um, 
The, the scriptures say our body is the temple of God, man. So, see? Just a breakfast speech, brothers and sisters. Finish. The seeds are here. Because you know man don't succeed. You understand me? And um, orange seed. Yeah, so that's it. So, later on we get something neat. Um, remember joining us for the TV program today. We'll discuss Immaculate Conception, man, because... The scripture said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So let's see what free black people, man. So yeah, shalom, shalom, shalom.